Sean, what did you learn from your parents? Well, my dad, as I left home, he said, just remember this, son, the best services on the M1, Newport Pagnell. <laughs> on you go. <laughs> like, he used to play that game. You know that game, Spine in a Sack? We used to play that. Do you ever play that? Spine. <laughs> <laughs> Spine. You ever play that when you were a kid? Spine in a sack. Spine, Spine in a sack. sack. Spine in a sack. <laughs> it sounds more like what a he do? Injury. What he'd do is he'd go out and get some roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's getting a roadkill and he'd whip the spine out, get the old no. spine out, then he'd break up all the vertebrae, put it in a sack, then he'd bounce it on our heads, right? And we'd have to guess what animal it was. Oh! <laughs> spine in a sack! Spine in a, spine sack. In a yeah. sack. I mean, you probably called it something different, back in a bag or something. <laughs> Whatever, it's the same game. I'd Are go... you guys winding me up? Is there really a <laughs> <good>? <laughs> I go, oh, is it chipmunk, Dad? And you go, don't be stupid, that's not even indigenous. <laughs> How am I going to find that on a road? <laughs> harder, Sean, work harder! <laughs> Do you never play it? No, I'm really shocked, cos I don't know if you're winding me up or not. <laughs> I'd be mortified if my dad put a dead animal on my head. Yeah. This is in the 60s, I think my dad was taking a lot of drugs at that time. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what to think. They no, didn't know. I made it up for a joke. <laughs> very nice man, my dad. Very nice. They play man. kidneys in a shoe, though, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, I always find that the confusing thing about falling in love is the symptoms of falling in love, a sort of lightheadedness, giddiness, are very similar to the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm in love or the flu's blocked. <laughs> No, I can't. I don't know if you're the one. Or we need to change flats. We need to have a way with How do you get in the zone to play Countdown? Uh, I don't call it zone, Jimmy. I call it a mood. <laughs> to get in a mood. I won't lie to you. I don't like doing Countdown. <laughs> I'm not lie. Why lie? What's the point of lying? I feel like, I feel like a polar bear trapped in a tiny cage. <laughs> up and down, up and down. Why do I have to play Countdown? <laughs> No, but seriously, I hate playing Countdown. <laughs> if there are any traditional viewers of Countdown watching, I'd just like to say, well done making it to January. <laughs> Sean, you feeling confident this evening? Well, no, there's no point in that, is there? I... <laughs> I've realised that the only thing this show tests is my patience. <laughs> I'd be much better at if we did uh, a mixture of eight out of ten cats does 24 hours in A and E. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be quite good at that. A recent survey revealed 61% of people would be happy to shop at a fully automated store with no human interaction. So we asked our studio audience, would you rather be served by a machine or a human being? It's really annoying, isn't it, when you're in a supermarket and you use one of the, the automated tills and a light is flashing, it's either the DVD or a bottle of wine, and, you, you know, you need help. They never work, those things. You're supposed to pay for them before you I leave. Know. <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost it with them. I've just shouted at the machine. So I've swiped this loads of times, and I've just said, look, I'm taking the chicken, OK? <laughs> Do your worst. The chicken's coming with me. It's like, like, Hostage, and I walk out of the shop like this. Going, I'm having this chicken, okay? I've tried to pay. You won't take it. I'm going. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Yeah. Yeah, it's and then you swipe, nothing swipes, and then you go an apple, no sticker on it, just goes boop, and you go, what the? <laughs> Sean and James, you get the first pick of the letters. Okay, okay. okay. Let's get this out. <laughs> what? So, what's that? Oh. Um, I find that the, the music, the countdown music, I find it very difficult to concentrate to. It actually puts me off. And I thought, I've got music at home, which is exactly 30 seconds long, which I find very easy to concentrate to. So if you don't mind, I'd like to listen to well, that. No problem at all. <laughs> while we... That's well within the rules. Yeah. OK, do you want to pick the letters? Do you want to pick the letters, James? Um, yeah, I might as well contribute something to the team, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll take a... We'll take a vowel, please. Oh. I'll take another vowel, please. A. Uh, a consonant. N. A consonant. Z. A vowel. U. 
A consonant. H. A vowel. O. And zoo. <laughs> um, uh, a consonant. G. And a, another consonant. And the last one. T. And for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. A couple of questions. That's a piece of music you just happen to have at home. <laughs> it's right when I'm working. That's what I listen to. So you just work in 30 second bursts. Right, five, you, look, yeah, you, look. <laughs> Your mind just really just closes in and focuses what it's going to do. This bit, I always find I write some of my best stuff. It's going up now. <laughs> Floods out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he doesn't put anyone off. <laughs> <We're not good. laughs> I tell you what, something really does annoy me is when you go into a jeweler's and they're selling loads of clocks and they're all different times. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking, you're trying to sell me these clocks and you can't even be bothered to get them <laughs> on the right time. Why would I buy a clock from you that isn't showing me the right time? That's all I want from a clock, is that it tells me the frigging time and you want to sell it to me, you want to charge me money and you can't be bothered to go like that. <laughs> You've got a bloody nerve trying to sell me clocks and you can't even prove... It's not, even, it's not a clock. If it's not the right time, it's not a clock. It's just a... So a it's just a... Some numbers. <laughs> some, it's some numbers and some sticks moving different ways. It's not a clock. The don't... Next time I come in there, mate... <laughs> I'm annoyed about that now. Did you see that CCTV footage of, like, some armed robbers? I'd love to go into a clock shop with a bad clock and go... go, put all those clocks right! <laughs> <laughs> Just hold it to his head and go, now the next one, now the next one! <laughs> right, I'm out of here. In your opinion, what makes a man's man? Um, well, definitely... Doesn't matter what the situation, what's happened, you never flush twice. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Just you do what you've got to do, you flush once, and then you walk away. <laughs> no regrets, <laughs> no looking back, no trying to sort out the situation. <laughs> That's what a man's man does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think uh, John Wayne was ever going, oh, <laughs> oh, I was still a bit pro... No. <laughs> There's a lot of... James Bond? No, God, no. no, no. Oh, go. oh, God. Oh, I'll have to wait until the system fills up. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's out there! <laughs> <laughs> Fighting crime, not worrying about something floating around a pan. <laughs> Sean, have you got a mascot? No, Jimmy, I haven't got a mascot. But Channel 4, basically... They've, they've been complaining to me, they've been moaning to me that I don't have a digital profile, I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Facebook, I don't have a website, I haven't got an email address. It's like the only way you can find any record of me. I did get a high score on a pinball machine once. here. <laughs> 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 and they said, well, we'd like you to do some tweeting. We'll set up uh, a Twitter account and it, uh, for you, and you can live tweet while it's been recorded. So I have a few tweets through. I've had uh, this one. This is uh, from Jamie. And he says, hi, Sean, just wanted to say, love the show, good luck tonight against uh, Lee and Sarah. I don't, I don't know what you do when someone tweets you. What do you... Well, you can either retweet that to your followers or you could, you could retweet it with a comment. All right. I was going to say, leave me alone. 